Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Nice to see you back. And today I'm back with another example chart. Somebody had requested me to do a chart for entrepreneurship. A person who is like a visionary, he opens his new enterprise and the person does something which nobody has ever done. Either something of his own or maybe some contribution in the field of research or sports or creativity or anything it can be all right so today we will see another amazing chart and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there and if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation on your career or on your marriage or on any other issue that you are facing and you want to talk to me then you can go to my website you will find the link in the description of the video below all right so before i begin this example i would again like to give the disclaimer that there can be many good or bad things in this chart which we will not look other than the areas of entrepreneurship okay because that's the focus of the video i mean we can always discuss each and every house for 10 hours for 20 hours and we can keep discussing about one chart for the next 30 days but that's not the point of the video here the point of the video is to show and to pinpoint and uh, try to understand what the person can be doing all right of course this is an extraordinary chart but we will not uh, get every chart like this because this chart is very clear i will explain it to how but uh, most of the times charts will not be like this most of the times you will see some of some charts will be uh, like this to some extent and to some extent it will not be okay so because of that we have to understand that we have to read the chart in totality and we do not have to get bogged by some uh, bad positions which can be there and be because uh, in the earlier example charts which i had done uh, some people said to me oh i also have this placement I also have this planet here, that planet there, but why am I not a millionaire or why am I, am I not that person whose chart is this, okay? So, well, uh, the answer is very simple because one or two planets may be different in your chart and that is enough to do all the difference, okay? And it's okay if uh, we, we do not have the same charts, it's obvious because no two people in the world are same. Everybody has a different chart and then there are divisional charts will, which will also be different, okay? So now, when we talk of entrepreneurship, there are many things which we need to consider. Well, what actually is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship is basically doing something of your own. So when we say something of your own, there are two primary houses which come into consideration. The first house is the lagna has to be in consideration. Okay, because lagna shows you yourself, your own ideals. Wherever the lagna lord is sitting, your ideals will uh, be strongly affected by that house or that placement okay so apart from that we need also to check the third house because third house is the house of initiatives third house is also the house of uh, endeavors which we take uh, when nobody tells us to take okay so if the third house is having some connection with the money houses which are the houses of money 2, 6, 10 and 11, especially the 10th house and more of the 10th house, the 11th house, okay. If the 3rd house, I repeat, has connection with the 10th house or the 11th house and the Lagna Lord is also somehow linked, okay, somehow, then this is a, uh, this is a blanket statement which I am giving. Of course, other things have to be seen, but I have seen in general, uh, this can be there in many entrepreneurs and many people I know who have done uh, big things on their own own means without any support of other organization or without any backing or from scratch like uh, i know some youtubers who have this these kind of placements and people who have opened companies and and they have uh, done revolutionary things all right so first things first let's see what is going on so we see that uh, the ruler of the ascendant because this is a libra lagna so the lagna lord has gone to the ninth house so ninth house as we know is the house of fortune luck and i'll be making a video on the ninth house what exactly the ninth house is next week so please watch that video 
So ninth house is one of the trikonas. As we know, this is extremely auspicious. The person will always be blessed by God, irrespective of whatever things happen. And this person is also very spiritual in nature. I uh, don't know him much, but uh, to the extent that I know, I know that he is very spiritual. Now, apart from this, you can also see that, as I said, the third house. The third house is ruled by Jupiter. And Jupiter is sitting in exaltation here in the 10th house, forming Hansa Mahapurush Yoga. So because of this, it's showing that a very strong part of his life will be uh, dealing with new, new, new initiatives. Okay. Now somebody will say, oh, but it is also the sixth lord of job. Yes, working under somebody. And that is also Jupiter. That is also placed in exaltation. Well, that's true. The person had worked under somebody and then eventually he decided that he will open something of his own. Why did he do that? Because although the two houses are being ruled by Jupiter, but the Mool Trikon sign of Jupiter, which is his most cherished sign, apart from the sign of exaltation, is the third house because it's, because it's the sign of Sagittarius, which is falling here. So the effects of the third house, so Jupiter here is primarily the third lord rather than being primarily the sixth lord okay so therefore the results of the third house which shows your new self initiatives will be much more okay so you see the third lord is sitting in the 10th house that's fantastic and as if that was less it is an exaltation okay then you see the next parameter which i always take into consideration you take check this strength of sun and moon you see sun here, it is placed in the 10th house. Yes, this is the most powerful house of the chart. So it is placed in 10th house and it is placed in Digbala. As we know, sun gets directional strength in the 10th house. And then, as if that was also less, you see what's happening here. Moon is also placed here. It is in own sign. Okay, It is extremely strong. There are planet in own sign is considered to be extremely strong. And then it is also placed with Jupiter. So this is creating the famous yoga, which is known as Gaja Kesari Yoga. Okay, it's a very powerful yoga for positivity of the mind, especially. And then we also have Jupiter and Mercury, the two natural benefits placed there, which signifies education, knowledge, ideas, thought processing. This is, this is showing very high level of intelligence. And Mercury is also considered to be fantastic in the 10th house. Okay. Apart from that, we have this conjunction of three natural benefits in the 10th house. This is a mind-blowing placement to have. Then take the lordships. You see here, the 10th house and the 11th house are linked. This is superb for money. Okay, So you see the 10th house is ruled by moon and the 11th house is ruled by sun. Both are conjunct in the 10th house. This is fantastic. Now as if this was less. The ninth lord is also sitting in the 10th house and it is conjunct the 10th lord and the 11th lord. So whenever the ninth lord and 10th lord are conjunct or mutually aspecting each other or in exchange, which means they are sitting in each other's houses, ninth lord is in 10th or 10th lord is in 9th, then it is known as Dharma Karma Dipat Yoga. This is the best yoga which anybody can have in their chart. Okay, And this yoga is multiply 10,000 million times more because a benefit is sitting in the ninth house and it is the Lagna Lord itself who is sitting in the ninth house. Okay, So Venus here is not an ordinary benefit. It is the ruler of the ascendant itself. So the entire focus is going to the ninth house. And uh, because, because of this, the dispositor of the Lagna Lord is itself going to the tenth house. So another thing which we need to take care when we talk of entrepreneurship is the person has to be very much focused into his career okay because uh, if you if the person has too many other uh, focus areas then generally it, it can happen that the person uh, cannot uh, focus on one thing and entrepreneurship is something which needs very high level of focus in one thing okay i'm not saying that job or other things do not need focus but when you are trying to do something all by your own and there's no support anywhere, you need to have a lot of determination. So the 10th house has to be primarily very strong, which is very obvious in this case. He has three natural benefits and any one benefit in the 10th house, uh, they say that is known as Amala Yoga. The person attains long lasting fame and you see here that there are three natural benefits and that to 
one is in own sign and the other is in exaltation extremely powerful and the other so called malefic which is sun is in digbala okay and that which is in a friendly sign so these are the uh, different uh, placements which are there and apart from that if you see that this is the chart of a libra lagna so for libra lagna saturn is extremely auspicious because it is ruling a kendra the fourth house and the fifth house which is a trigon okay so because of that we all know for libra and taurus saturn is a special planet called as yoga karaka okay yoga karaka means one who helps the chart and one who helps in uh, improving the power of the chart i mean in layman's terms you can interpret it like that so you see here the yoga karaka is sitting in the 11th house of gains name fame recognition okay fantastic this is and then rahu they say co lords uh, it also rules aquarius apart from saturn so here the fifth lord which is uh, i mean there are two fifth lords one is saturn and the other is rahu so we can clearly see that both are sitting in the 11th house okay so that is fantastic for getting name fame recognition and ketu also is the co lord of uh, scorpio this is so second lord is also sitting in the fifth house okay so these are very good placements this person has and apart from this uh, what can i say i mean it is a fantastic chart it's mind blowing and lot of initiatives are there and the person is very much focused towards career towards uh, doing something and establishing his own uh, life and that is what i will say and apart from this uh, other details i would not mention because uh, that person has not given information like birth details and other areas and which area this person is what he is doing as an entrepreneur that also uh, i will not mention here okay but uh, that's not that that's a topic of some other day but the point here is to show how the chart is strong and the third house is having link with the 10th house and the 10th lord and there's so many other beautiful yogas in this chart i mean i can go on and on and on and on saying na but time is very less so i would uh, stop it here okay so there you go connection of the third house the lagna the 10th house and the 11th house these four factors has to be there okay uh, otherwise there can be uh, i mean if the 11th house is not supporting or the 10th house is not supporting with the lagna and the third house it can happen that the person is just doing 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 efforts and getting very less returns okay but if the person wants to have returns then the 10th house and 11th house has to uh, reasonably support and that's very strong here you see that 11th lord is in 10th with the 10th lord and the 9th lord and two planets in the 11th house and they say malefics in the 11th house is considered to be fantastic okay best place to have malefics there in the 11th house they give you a lot of gains All right so that is it from my side chart of an entrepreneur so if you want to know if uh, somebody is asking you that will i become an entrepreneur you can forward them this video they can also have a look if they are having these kind of placements and uh, apart from that uh, they can always uh, see what all other good yogas any other good yogas or raj yogas that will always help uh, for all these uh, placements for an entrepreneur okay so there you go that is it from my side If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, then click the thumbs up. And there you go. If you want a consultation, then please go to my website. You will find the link in the description of the video below. Okay. Until next time, wish you good luck. Bye bye. See you.